Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Yolanda here. For all the newbies and welcome back to the ones that are returning. Um, if you clicked on this video, I am now five days past operation, my surgery. So I had a BBL and um, I just want to give you guys all the details on my BMI and what is a BMI and you know just how successful and how everything went and who was my doctor how much it was I just want to put it all out there and show show you ladies or guys you know everything tell you everything inside and out um first of all if you clicked on this channel and you entered to win the baby kettle that I have um I'm going to be going live. I think I'm going to go live on Thursday or maybe Friday. So stay tuned for that. And I also post it on my Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Um, yeah. So first of all, let me give you guys. First of all, let me show you guys my body. I'm going to show you as much as I can. Okay. This is my body. This is my side. And this is my back. And my stomach still is swollen, y'all. But um, I think it's a little flatter outside. But I, as you can see, I have hips now. Something I never had. I've always dreamed of having hips. When I say this doctor snatched me and he did his thing, I love him. And I highly, highly, highly recommend this guy, this doctor, because he's one very professional, very sweet, very loving guy. Um, and um, even though I went through all of those things, Having my BBL done. Oh yeah, I still have the drainage in y'all. But as you can see, it's yellow. And this has been like all day long. So this is just like um, fluids. Now it's more fluids than it is blood. So I'll be able to take this out. Probably tomorrow I have a massage coming in. A masseuse coming in tomorrow. Here to my house, home to give me a massage. And yeah. So, yeah, y'all, it's so tender to touch. Like, it just feels so weird to just touch it. Like, everything just. And I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna do another video on like me putting on clothes so you can actually see like what my body looks like. Cause right now it's compressed. But I need to, I have these foam boards. But I don't think these are the right ones. I ordered some more, which. They're hard. I put these in, and these are not hard. I don't know if they're supposed to be hard, but I don't like them. Okay, so let's get on with the pricing and how much I paid for my BBL and the hotel, just everything, all the rundown. I did get my chin done, and I th think I still have some swollen. I, I could still, see, I could feel it, but I can see now the difference. Like in my other video, I was telling you, I don't look like, I don't feel like I got my chin done I don't feel like they touched me oh he touched it because it's really sore up under here and it's not as double as it is and it's still swollen so I'm excited about that let me shut the door because my kids are out there okay so what I paid for my BBL um I hey be careful that will stop Okay, what I paid for my BBL, um, I paid $250 to, for them to hold my spot, and I've been, I've booked three months prior to surgery. I was booked in three months in advance. Um, so, that was $250 for a deposit just to hold my spot. Um, I paid, and my surgery was $6,500, but I added an extra $500, which it made it $7,000. 
for them to do my chin because I think it's like each each lipo area that they cut it's like an extra 500 maybe 600 but I know it was 500 for the chin um also for my hotel I pay I want to say 600 and 600 and something dollars because I had to rebook it maybe set yeah 600 and something because I had to rebook it because I had to stay an additional night and I had to go back through books.com and put that again which it made my room hundred and seventy dollars seventy one dollars a night I stayed five nights and it was cheaper than that I can't remember what I booked it for then and I stayed at Cambria hotel in Miami and it's 10 minutes away from three or five plastic surgery with food and and everything my husband paid for all the food um, and Miami has very expensive food because just for the two of us for lunch I think he paid like a hundred and eighty something dollars um, and for gas we only filled up twice um, there and coming back so and gas I think to fill up our truck is like 60 maybe 70 dollars to fill it up and what else what else um oh yeah I think that's pretty much it oh and I had to have an ultrasound done so I actually paid forty dollars um copay with my insurance to have um to actually be become a new patient and then they had to see me the next day which to ha for me to be able to have the ultrasound done and that was seventy something dollars seventy four dollars and they gave me that money back because I wasn't going to be in Miami for additional three extra days just for me to see the doctor for him to read my results and the girl the sonotech had done told me I didn't have a hernia so that was that um and my doctor Dr. Salas. Dr. Salas, he is a very beautiful, I'm not even flirting about this guy. This is a beautiful man, okay? My husband is beautiful too, but I'm not saying it in that way, if that makes sense. He's a beautiful, beautiful guy. He's beautiful inside and outside. I highly recommend him because he keeps it real. And it's this is something you could tell this is his passion. This is something that he really loves to do. And he put loves in he put love into his work and you can tell this man gave me hips y'all look he did that so i'm excited um so yeah um i do uh i have on some clothes my probably my next video i don't know i'm just in this i've been in this for a while i'm tired of this i'm gonna take me a bird bath tonight i can't take a shower yet so i've been washing in the sink so yeah so I'm just so happy that it's over with now I'm just ready for the healing part to be over with because the sleeping is so annoying can't sleep like anyone is you could sleep good but not as good because you have to get up to go pee and then it's hard to get up like you really have to push yourself so my husband gonna make me like a bed tonight and I'll show you what the bed looks like once I make it but for now, I'm just going to end this video. I hope I answered all your questions. Um, oh, yeah, my BMI. My I start, my started weight, I was 150 pounds. I'm 5 foot 7. And my BMI was 24.3. Um, so, Dr. Salas did say he didn't have much to work with. And I'm going to put my before and after pictures in. Or... If I could put it in, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna do my best to try to put those pictures in. So, yeah. And what else? Um, if they cancel you, go back. Don't just let that assistant cancel you, okay? Go back to the doctor and wait to the doctor. Wait to see the doctor. He's the one that has the first and the last say so. Because even when the doctor cleared me, they were still giving me a hard time. The people around me were giving me a hard time. My coordinator was giving me a hard time, but she was doing her job. Her name is Amanda. Amanda is an awesome person. I cannot take that from her. But they did take my, they took my money. 
that's another video. All right, guys. I see you beautiful people. Shortly, I'm going to let my husband build my bed so y'all can see how I'm going to sleep. Because I want to sleep on my back tonight, y'all. This is annoying. All right, guys. I love you so, so much. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Yolanda here for all the newbies. And welcome back to the ones that are returning. Today, I am post op seven, seven days post op. Mm -hmm. And no, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, six. Six days post op. But as you can see, I'm not draining. Well, I mean, it's not much. And um, my sweetie, sweet husband, is about to remove this drainage from me because I'm over it. And I think it's time for it to be removed. As y'all can see, I struggled with trying to make a bed. I thought he was going to actually make me one. It was a big fail. But I'm going to let you guys see how to remove a drain. Alright, stay, stay tuned. This is the drainage. You can see the bruising on my side too. Okay, hey guys, I am, what's today? Six days, seven days post op, and I got my drains out last night. My husband took them out. Yeah, I was freaking out in that part, so y'all already seen it. But, so now I just took my Faja off to wash it, which I did buy extra Faja. But I bought it in black and it's so uncomfortable. So, um, let me see. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I didn't even think that I would get be able to get this blood out of it. Let me show you. Okay. I got the blood out. These are my compression socks. But I have to go hang dry this. So I'm going to put this outside in the back. And let it dry. But I can't be out my faha that long. Because you know, if you out of your faha for like uh, over two hours, you start swelling again. And you don't want that. Oh no, I don't. So I'm about to go hang this outside in the back. Can't put it in the drain because I'm afraid it's going to shrink. But I do have a little bit of blood. But I put, I didn't have bleach. I couldn't find the bleach, which I got it somewhere in this house. But I mean, this thing's pretty much came out for the most part. Just, I pour, um, I use peroxide. Yeah. These are my compression socks. I'm gonna put. It. I know my neighbor like, what have she got done? I've been gone for a whole week. Y'all, and, but you can't see really much of my shape, but it looks so good, girls. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with my doctor, Dr. Salas. You did that. I can't take that away from you. You are awesome. You are the GOAT. Dr. Miami is literally off the map. Y'all don't even hear about him anymore. Dr. Williams still don't have nothing on Dr. Salas, so. Let's just keep that there. Um, so, I mean, if you do want a BBL, if you want to get hips, go to Dr. Salas. I really highly recommend him. And the, how I picked Dr. Salas is, I was originally going with Dr. Williams. And so I just did my research. I watched all his videos and everything. Follow him on Instagram and everything. So... It got to a part where he was like, basically, he, he's not gonna, you can't tell him what you want. He don't do wish picks. Wish picks. 
which wish pics is pictures that you wish for you show them pictures that you want to look like he don't do that he basically kind of educates you and be like you know if your body is more toned i'm gonna give you what you can get like he gonna basically give you what he wants you to have not what you want basically dr salas he's really good with skinny bbls hands down because he originally told me i'm gonna get some i don't really have much fat to work with because i already seen my body what it was like um um but i'm gonna you know do what i can and i said to him i said give me some hips that's what i want give me some hips I said okay i mean he's just so he's so sweet i'm spit he's so sweet and just so pleasant to just be it just just to look at he's just beautiful beautiful person so um yeah i'm i'm so glad i don't have that draining i'm kind of itching right here let me just see the butt Ooh. Yeah. and the good thing about it it matches my legs my legs are not too skinny for this he gave me some hips like curvy y'all can't see it but Look, I'm still swollen right here because I don't have my faja on. That's why the faja and the foam is very, very important to keep on because it compress. Compress. Excuse me. It give you, it's compressed, compressed. My husband already told me, you're not going to the grocery store by yourself. You're not going nowhere by yourself. I'm going to put a GPS on the car, but he was just kidding. So, I mean, I'm happy. And I did this for me. I didn't do it for him. So, if you're going to do this, do this for you, ladies. Don't do it for your man. Don't do it for nobody else. Do it for you. Because I did this for me. This is something that I've always talked about in a lot of my videos. If you've been following me for so long, you should know that I've been talking about this for so long. And I finally did it. So, I think they took my other video down too, y'all. So, I'm going to try to get that video put back up if it is down. But they did. YouTube did contact me and say it something broke the community guidelines because nudity, which I wasn't naked on the video. I had underwear each time on the video. I don't know who reported. Somebody reported my other video and they sent, they showed me the name too. That's funny. But anyways, I'm going to get that video put back up. If I have to take something out, I will take it out. But I told YouTube, I said, this is more of an educational video to help someone. You know, if you're looking for a good surgeon, it's basically helpful. And if you're looking to see what the realistic is, what it's like to have this surgery or procedure, it's right there. All right, guys, all my videos have been really, really long. And I really don't want to bore you ladies out. But I see you beautiful people in my next video. I think I'm going to show you my body. And on Thursday or maybe tonight, I'm going to go live and get do the giveaway. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going live. So if you're watching this video and you commented on my Instagram post and you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, my TikTok is not boring y'all. So it's really fun over there. So y'all need to go check my TikTok out. They will follow me? Okay. You say everyone will follow me. Alright. So if my TikTok is really fun and follow me on Instagram. I'll be updating all the time. Yeah, let's see you beautiful people in my next video. Peace.